Hey, Sketchmaster family, and welcome to another episode of Sketchmaster. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications so you never miss a video. Today, we're going to continue with our little Tiny Toons Adventures uh, series. If you've seen, or if you haven't seen the previous videos, this should be video number seven. Uh, in the previous videos, video number one, we drew Buster Bunny. Uh, video number two, we drew Babs Bunny. Uh, video number three, we drew Plucky Duck. Video number four, we drew Furball. Video number five, we drew Sweetie. And video number six, we drew Dizzy. <clears throat> And in this video, video number seven, we're going to be drawing Beeper. And Beeper is basically a tiny version of Roadrunner, or spinoff of Roadrunner, if you will. All right, without further ado, here we go. I'm going to start with, of course, the line. And just like our... Other Looney Tune or Tiny Tunes friends, he's got big feet. And this one is actually gonna go to an angle too. They all kind of go to an angle. I don't remember where I found these drawings or these uh, pictures that I drew. And some of them, I believe I might have actually. I uh, paused the TV uh, and did a quick sketch and then went back later and put more detail in it. But it's been so long. This was back in 2008. I don't really remember exactly where I found these pictures. All I know is I found them and I liked them. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to draw them. We're going to go ahead and start with the uh, shoe for our dear friend, uh, Beeper. And it's relatively easy. Just like a normal Looney Tunes type shoe. Kind of looks like, <clears throat> it kind of looks like Marvin the Martian's uh, shoes. Might even be the same. I don't know for sure, but it might be even the same design. Who knows, him and Marvin may have the same exact shoes. That'd be kind of cool. All right, so and this one kind of comes down at an angle. The more angle the shoe is, the more difficult it is to draw. Shoes are kind of one of my favorite things to draw, actually, for characters. How about you guys? Leave a comment below what you think your favorite thing to draw on a character is. Second, I would say, would most likely be the face. But it can also be one of my least favorite things to draw. Sometimes you mess up the face, you mess up the character. And as artists, we're our own horse critics. I've come to find that out over the years. Okay, so with Beeper, it's got this tiny little circle body, this relatively long neck, like so. And then from there, <coughs> excuse me, we draw some feathers. And if you're noticing what I'm noticing, these are just simple shapes. That's his wing. And that dips in. Like so. It comes up. Like so. And then his tail actually comes out at a fan almost.
just like that. Okay. Go ahead and reset guideline. Turn up this. Just like that is his, his beak. Comes up and out at an angle like that. And instead of having a point to his beak, it's all round. Got a little tongue sticking out like that. And his eyes are actually on the small side. His pupil. Just like that. Not sure what he's looking at right there, but... And his eyebrows are tiny. Like that. His head, or his hair, if you will, kind of goes out at an angle and fans back in. Kind of like a. Is it. It's like Dr. Seuss story. Is it Snoodle? Well, I wouldn't know unless Snoodle. That's the Veggie Tales version. Uh, virg version, if I could talk, sorry. Uh, gosh, what is it? It's a Dr. Seuss type story. I don't know if it's a who that I'm thinking of or, or what, but... <laughs> or what, that's funny. Anyway, there is our friend Beeper. Now, we'll go ahead and outline him. Eyebrows. I don't know if it's in the Grinch story. It might be the new Grinch I'm thinking of that they have hair like that. Not the one with Jim Carrey or even the cartoon version. I mean, I'm even thinking of a Dr. Seuss character. I don't know. All I know is I've seen that type of hair before outside of Tiny Toons and Looney Toons. All right. Just about done. At one point, I thought it would be fun to color these guys. Uh, then I realized, uh, not only does it make the videos a lot longer, but I'm not a huge fan of coloring. I love to draw. I love the shade. Just something about coloring I find tedious, in a way. I don't know. Maybe not all, art, all artists feel that way. There you go. And that is our friend, Beeper. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for the next one. And the next one, we're going to be doing uh, Wild Lee Coyotes. Tiny Toon spinoff relative, whatever you want to call him, uh, Calamity. So make sure, like I said, that you like, share, subscribe, hit that little bell for notifications so you never miss a video. And make sure you follow me on Facebook, 
at my uh, Facebook page, Sketch, uh, Sketch Master Inner Circle. I always try to leave that uh, in the description under the video as well. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. God bless.